What's good everybody, it's your boy D Chase, man. I'm coming back with another video. This is not gonna be sports talk. I know y'all normally know for me talking about sports, but this is gonna be um entertainment, you know, hip hop entertainment news. Um we just got confirmation that Pusha T and Jim Jones is beefing. Um apparently they're beefing over the fact that um Jim Jones is hanging with um Pusha T's enemy Drake. Um they gotta they gotta stop with that because in the hip hop game you don't know who you gonna bump into. You might bump into Fifty Cent. You know Fifty Cent does not like Ja Rule, so if you bump into uh, Ja Rule and Fifty Season, he's gonna troll you on. He's gonna let you know that don't mess with dude. Nobody can stop you from hanging with anybody. You can stop yourself from hanging with anybody. Um, take Eminem for instance. Eminem didn't really mess with Fat Joe and all them because of Fifty's beef with him, but once um. 50 and Fat Joe made up during the Chris Lighty's, um, honoring Chris Lighty, who passed, um, he became, you no know, Fat Joe and 50, um, started talking to 50 and M, I mean, um, Fat Joe and M started talking, and that's how you seen Fat, um, Eminem on the Lean Back remix and all that. Um, so this is where that, the, the Jim, go back to the Jim Jones and the Pusha T, this is where that stems from, um, but I'm going to call, I'm going to say Jim Jones is wrong, and I'm going to say Pusha T is wrong. And I'm about to explain to you why both of them wrong. Pusha T is wrong for being mad that Jim Jones is hanging with Drake. Um, Pusha T, word of advice, you can't really be mad at somebody for hanging with somebody. It's, that's stupid. It's the stupidest shit ever. Um, if one of my friends is hanging with my enemies, that's cool. Just don't tell him shit about me. Don't relate shit about me to him. Or don't tell him about what I've got going on. I think that's why Pushy T said what he said. But um, Jim Jones is definitely wrong for bringing no malice and, and no malice into the situation. No malice has nothing to do with y'all beef. He didn't even say shit to you. So for you to go say something about him and involving him is going to make a bigger fish to fry with you. And um, the Clips is very underrated. They're the, very, the most underrated rapper duo, period. I mean, you hear talks about them. But you rarely hear talks about them. Um, and they came in, they first album, um, they first album was, um, I think it was Lord Wild and I could be wrong. Um, but it was, it was nice. It was a nice album. And then the albums they dropped later became nice. And then if you don't know about the clips, they the ones that had the beef with Wayne and also had a beef with Drake. Um, the reason Drake got involved is because he felt he had to protect his boss. Lil Wayne at the time was his boss. I think he still is. Could I don't think so anymore. I think Drake is on his own thing. He owns OBO. So. And Drake has been in numerous battles with everybody because he was the new kid on the block and everybody had to fuck with him to see where his bars was at. Um, he's been dissed by many people. Um, he's been dissed by um, Pusha T. He's been pushed. He's been dissed by... Um, well, I ain't gonna say really diss by Meek Mill because Meek Mill is two of his district, his one diss track to two Drakes. So Drakes beat him on that one hands down. Um, he's and he ultimately took an L to push a T, which he notified that he took an L to push a T. So where this beef goes wrong, and I'm I'm glad Jadakiss. Um, I read about that too. Jadakiss um had words of advice for both of these guys. He wanted them to keep it straight. The straight rap don't say. You going to do something because when you start talking about guns and all that stuff, it could take a left turn. You start talking about like he, like Jim Jones diss track, he called push, he called No Malice a crackhead. Nah, um, no Malice ain't got nothing to do with this. No Malice ain't the one that called you out. You should be aiming that aim towards Push Your T. Because Jim Jones, I'm going to tell you something. Um, you, I don't know if you a dipset cool still, I don't know. But you do not want No Malice to come back. And, I mean, he's a changed man. Leave that man alone. He's into Christ right now. He's into the Lord and everything. Let that man be. Like, because you really don't want him going off on you. Because I've seen some people that didn't cuss that, that, that you make. Like, when Mace and, and Cameron went at it with they, the, that Oracle stuff. Mace jumped back into his old, I'm Mace and Beth. He jumped, not I'm Mace and Beth, but I'm Mace. He jumped back into Mace. And that's what you don't, I'm trying to see. I'm trying not to see Jim Jones get beat down like that because um, and he's a great, he's a good rapper, he's a good rapper. I mean, I'm not gonna shit on Jim Jones like I did on camera, um, but these two are legends in the hip hop game. They like Jada said, keep it rap. Um, all of talking about switches and talking about guns and stuff. When you start talking about kill switches and guns, 
that's when it can take a turn for us. When you start involving people, family like Drake, get a no, no, you don't involve, you don't involve nobody's wife. Period. I don't care what the situation. You don't involve, you don't involve the wife or the kids, and um, or you don't involve anybody who didn't even say your name. Now, if no malice came out and said, "Well, no, f Jim Jones," then I can see Jim Jones be defending himself at a point. Because when somebody comes at you, you gotta defend yourself. So he's do it, but I ain't hear nothing about no malice even dropping a disc. It was Pusha T. Um, Pusha T is getting his brother dragged a lot through this, though. So that's the only wrong doing with Pusha T. You, I mean, you know, yeah, you came at Jim Jones, you kept it at Jim Jones. But, um, and I ain't hear the song yet, so I'm gonna hear the song and see, because it's gonna probably be a part two to this, because I want to see what he said. I just read what they said, and, you know, it's different when you read versus you actually vi hear the visuals and stuff like that. You, you hear what they say, but... These two are too old for this, man. Beef is dead in hip hop. Now, I mean, when you got, I mean, it's not dead because you still got people that may not like somebody, may say something about them. Like you got people like Gunner, Gunner dissing Lil Baby right now, and then you got uh, Lil Dirt diss Gunner, and you know you got you still got the NBA young boys, the Doug, the Lil Dirks, and you still got all these guys. They gonna still do that. I just hope they just keep it, just keep it. Out of the streets, man. Because when you start talking about shooting and killing somebody, it, it, that's when it, that's when the hip hop stops. That's when the fan base stops. I mean, haven't we had enough bloodshed? I mean, we had we just lost Vine two years, what three years ago? You know what I'm saying? You just lost Duck three years ago. You know what I'm saying? You just lost, a, you lost a couple of rappers, man. You just need to chill with the whole beef thing. Like I'm like Jada on that. He had a word of advice on the radio on um, Hot 97. He just basically told him keep it street, I man. Keep it um not street, but keep it in the rap. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like how um how Jay Z and Nas did. Jay Z and Nas never came to blows. They never. I mean, they said some disrespectful shit. I mean, come on, like um especially Jay Z said some very disrespectful shit. But they was able to keep it rap, and then they. Ended up squashing a beef when um, Jay Z invited Nas on this I Declare War, um, um, little thing at um at Summer Jam. So that was dope. So um, I mean, it, just as long as y'all keep it, just keep it rap, dude. Don't I mean that's why I love like um I mean that's why I, I kind of like rappers like M. M always kept it. Like, he kept it rap. He never jumped in it. If I see you in the street, I'm going to do this to you. If I see you in the street, I'm going to, if I see you, I'm going I'm to, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot you up. He never did that. Like, even, um, Big, well, Biggie didn't do that. Pac did. Pac went kind of hard on Big back then, but that was the beginning of, um, the beef and shit. You know, Ice, Ice, um, Q went hard on N.W.A., but he ain't say shit like, um, when I catch you, I'm gonna kill you. He just was roasting him. It was just like it's just like a roast. I mean, you don't gotta take it serious. But I ain't gonna make this video long. Man, I just had to um, drop some insight on y'all. Y'all may not know about, but um, Pusha T and and Jim Jones need to chill, man. With that, I mean, I know Pusha T gonna respond because basically Jim Jones responded to his first crack at the beef. Um, Hit up the hit up in the comments, man. Let me know who y'all think is wrong for this. Who y'all think? Do y'all think Jim Jones is wrong for basically defending himself and bringing no malice into the beef, which no malice never said nothing about um, Jim Jones? Or do y'all think Pusha T is really wrong for starting this feud? Do you think he's trying to keep his name alive? Do you think he's trying to keep? Do you think he's trying to hint that clips could be going back? I which I doubt it, cause um. No malice would have been back by now. And he would have probably went back to malice. So, um, y'all write down in the comments, man. I want to hear y'all thoughts on this. I want to know how y'all feel about this whole thing. Because me, I'm almost 40, bro. And when you old, when you as old as I am, you don't, that, that back and forth shit ain't fun no more. Because it start off fun, but then they start talking about when I catch you. And then next, you know, you hear, oh, three hours. You hear a couple of days later, or, or hours later, oh, they had a shootout. Somebody got killed. You don't be want to hear that shit when you my age. You be like, you just be, you just be satisfied with living. Like, so, right down in there, man. Hit the like button for your boy. Also, hit that bell for your boy so you can get exclusives when I drop these videos. Man, I know I ain't dropped so many in so long. I'm just dealing with this jobby job situation. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just keep me in y'all prayers, man. And definitely um subscribe to your boy and definitely hit the like button for your boy. Definitely leave a comment because I want to hear what y'all think, man. It's your boy, D-Chase. I'm out, man. Peace and salute.